Yeah, so on uh, Wednesday afternoon we had a special session focusing on mesothelioma and um, I was uh, privileged to be one of the co-chairs of that session. I think the main highlight from that was the presentation of a randomised radiotherapy trial in mesothelioma. So this is the Systems 2 trial. There was a previous uh, Systems 1 trial uh, implying that uh, radiotherapy was effective for pain control in mesothelioma patients using 20 grain 5 fractions. This study took that to the next step. So the question they were asking is whether a more intensive radiotherapy regimen, uh, 36 gray, I'm a medical oncologist so please don't quote me on the exact uh, radiotherapy dosage, but I think it was 36 gray in six fractions versus 20 in five. So a more intensive radiotherapy treatment with the standard of care. Uh, so this is a randomized study and the results were really quite interesting. There was slightly less pain, better pain control I think in the higher intensity arm, but it wasn't statistically significant and so effectively uh, the trial uh, did not show that the higher radiotherapy was associated with um, um, better pain control. Um, there was more toxicity. One of the things that interested me was that there was more dysphagia in the higher intensity arm. We didn't get quite a lot of data that I would have liked to have seen. So I'd have liked to have known that the uh, uh, the dosage exposure in the fields to the organs at risk were the same between the arms. Um, but again, I depend on my clinical oncology colleagues to give me their views um, on that particular topic. But the main interesting um, snippet from that study was a secondary endpoint of overall survival. So you do see a separation of the curves. So it does, Im it implies it's immature data, but there's, an, there's a strong suggestion that there may be a survival difference to the higher dose of radiotherapy. And if you look at the 12 month landmark, about uh, less than 10%, I forget the exact number, it might be 6 or 9% of patients are alive with 20 grain 5 fractions, whereas 30% of patients were alive with the um, higher intensity treatment. So that's a really interesting tantalizing subject and it feeds very well into where we're going next with mesothelioma because there are a series of trials that are being proposed or being set up. I think most interestingly the HIT meso study which is looking at proton therapy. Um, so I think uh, the textbooks say that mesothelioma is a radio resistant tumor and I think we're, we're learning that the textbooks are wrong. It's actually quite a radio sensitive tumor.